So, Evernote have been busy bees over the last couple of months, getting acquired a few recent updates. It's good to see them starting to fall into a exciting new world versus maybe just sort of surviving, which they've been doing for the last couple of years. So today's video, we're going to go over what's next for Evernote, talking about some of their recent updates, talking about what their vision is with their new partners, and what their new partners, their new acquisition, buyers, vending spoons, will bring to the table and where I personally think it will go. So for those who do not know, Bending Spoons, an Italian app development company, have purchased Evernote in the last two months now. It's been two months, wow, almost three probably. And what they've done is they've just acquired the company as a whole, aiming to make their development, their experience with applications the way forward for Evernote. They've stated two core things in this that they're keen on naturally while the ownership changing hands, their commitment is keeping your data safe and secure remains as steadfast as ever. So they're going to be protecting all that's already there with Evernote, which is a good news. Not that you'd expect that, but if they had a very vague statement like, we're going, we're seeing where we are heading with Evernote. That doesn't fill you with any sort of sense of, okay, it's gonna be here in a year's time. So let's first look at some more of their recent updates. They've released three updates that I think are definitely worth the attention, purely because they're smaller, but definitely move the platform forward in the right direction. And those mm. are the tasks in Web Clipper. You can now capture tasks while you're in Web Clipper. Web Clip is one of the best in class for a note-taking application. Even now, it's quality and it's well-produced. And they've added tasks to it, which it just further extends the experience. Next is backlinks inside of Evernote, which is great news because a lot of people wanted backlinks for a long time. Although I believe the new backlinks function is locked under premium or a certain amount is not fully sure, but I saw a couple of people tweeting about it. But backlinks are well accepted experience in Evernote. And finally, probably one of the things that I expected to be there in a long time is to copy paste a link, an Evernote note, and actually it embed and populate inside of the Evernote note that you're pasting it in, which is a nice addition because you can start linking notes up in a bit more of an easier fashion. But these three updates definitely enhance the experience, show that Evernote is still continuing to develop or at least getting their previous development cycle out of the way. But let's take a look at the vision that they state that they share with Evernote. So they say together we share a vision for Evernote as a powerful intuitive extension of your brain. Now that's a really interesting vision. The main reason why I'm so interested is because it states powerful and intuitive and brain. <laughs> the, the reason I like this is because powerful is something that you would, you would assume is something to do with artificial intelligence because it's going further and it's going stronger and seeing that the app development history has been better. We'll talk about that in a moment. An extension of your brain feels like that is what Evernote is doing. It always previously was a remember everything, but extension of your brain feels very well fitting. I feel like this is a good vision statement that they share with Evernote and they've made it clear from day one. So that's very exciting. So where do we think Bending Spoons is going to take this venture? Bending Spoons have been developing applications for a while. I saw a photo on Twitter of Tim Cook in their office. They seem very popular as quality app developers. And apparently they have over 100 million uh, users of their apps monthly. And obviously that will grow with Evernote's acquisition. But they have been building quality applications in terms of its function and with artificial intelligence. They have apps like Remini and Splice, which are high performing applications and highly rated applications by the community. Now they do have, and they do state, they have a wide range of proprietary technologies. And I believe that Evernote will be very much mobile first in the near future. I think it will probably break into three core areas of development. The first will be utilizing what's in the Evernote backlog. And that's a good thing. The first thing you wanna do is be able to take advantage of proprietary technologies and combine them with things you already have. And that's a good thing because a lot of people have a long history in Evernote, 10 years maybe, you might be one of them at home. And of course, 
that can be really utilized, taking all of that good data history knowledge and bringing it and resurfacing it using some of the AI technologies. So for example, imagine if you used to take loads of photos of cars uh, in different areas because you're a car salesman. Uh, maybe that is something that the Evernote uh, experience can resurface or maybe even categorize and present useful insights and data around. So that's where I think a lot of the insights are going to be bringing that previous history together. The second thing I think will be a popular uh, in development for mm -hmm. Evernote will be the home experience. Home is actually a very underrated feature inside of Evernote. A lot of other applications don't tend to have this. You can make your home in some applications, but they don't have a home page somewhere where you can go to and be able to see all of the notes that are so populating. But I think a living and breathing home page for Evernote will actually be something very exciting. Imagine you're going to the airport, and suddenly something pops up, your email on uh, your flight tickets, and it's all on Evernote Home. Evernote Home becomes this living and breathing opportunity to find all of the stuff that you need, which I think is a good bet for Evernote. And the third piece of the puzzle that I personally think it will be with integrations. You mentioned, I mentioned there, that Evernote is that home experience. It could be connected to your email. And I believe that them having more integrations will make the Evernote experience 2x. The reason why is because imagine you've got all of your historic notes in Evernote. Then you combine it with your current pulse of information. Maybe you haven't used it in three years, so there will be a small gap, but the pulse of information that comes in from different platforms, um, and maybe email, calendar, and all these different types, they're gonna enhance that. That will breathe life into the home area, and the other experience, the insights, will breathe life into the home area too. So I think Evernote is actually in a very good position with their acquisition. Bending Spoon seems to be proven app expertise, what they actually say on their website, proven app expertise but something that I definitely think is really interesting and attractive uh, for Evernote's future. So that is something that I think you should be excited about as an Evernote user. Naturally, always cautious with these companies. It's always important to be cautious with companies um, and so um, goes with that. If you are an Evernote user, I want to pick your brains. Today, I'm doing a little form that will be linked below because uh, in the near future, maybe in a couple of weeks, a couple of months, I'm not sure, I probably will have a good chance of speaking with the new Evernote creators, not Evernote creators, Evernote acquirers, Bending Spoons, and I'd love to field your comments to them. So feel free to add them in the form below and we can share them and ask them directly with their team. But of course, um, we, you know, it's being able to make sure that uh, we get that interview, so we'll work hard to do that. And if you pop them below, we'll be ready with them uh, when we're ready to go. Anyway, folks, a big, big thank you. What's your predictions for the next Evernote um, or the next Evernote's uh, evolution as time goes on? Uh, it'd be really great to hear, so do pop it in the comments below. Thank you very much, folks. I look forward to diving into more of these topics in the future. Please do subscribe to keep productive if you're new. My name is Francesco D'Alessio, and thank you very much for stopping by in today's video. Cheerio. Mm -hmm.